Hello people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, I'm going to uh, discuss gold. We are going to look at gold and silver on small time frame. You guys already are well aware of my large time frame analysis on gold. I'm bullish on gold. Uh, but since tomorrow is a non-form payrolls, uh, it is important for me that uh, we'll discuss that. And another thing is that from last few days, we have not seen actually much uh, price action from uh, from gold. So it makes it even more important. If you're an elitician or if you want to become an elitician, one thing you need to recognize and that's very important. And that's that differentiates between if someone is changing their uh, forecast or analysis too often or no, it's just the nature of the analysis actually. So what Elliott Wave Analysis does us actually is that which direction is the main trend which is indicated by a 5 wave structure and it gives us an indication of which direction is the corrective uh, which is indicated by 3 wave structure. There are some guidelines that actually help us to see which way or how deep the wave can go, uh, the corrective wave could go. There are only guidelines. So what happens? I personally when I see uh, the, the start of corrective behavior and it's uh, the beginning of wave 1 or just wave 2 then I will give an indication that okay probably we are going to see a deep price movement. But that's once again this is a guideline that does not necessarily have to come true. So we are uh, right now and we have seen a classic exactly classic case today. Earlier in the morning, I think yesterday, uh, I made a forecast. I was thinking that prices are going to go for downward. Uh, prices were right over here, and I was easily considering this as a, a W and this as an X. I was considering as A, B, and C, and I was expecting prices to form another zigzag downward. And as you guys are well aware of it, we have seen the correction, but we have not seen the trend going downwards. The point here is that right now we can label the wave more correctly. And I believe that we can consider this price movement as a single wave right now, starting right from the top, right over here. You can consider it as a five, three, five wave. And here we have a five wave, a three wave right over here, which is A, B, and C, another price movement upward. And right now we have another price movement downward right over here on 50, which is more uh, clearly visible on this one, A, B, and C. This is, uh, un this is traditionally not a regular pattern that we see much often. It's basically a double three pattern. We have seen a uh, single zigzag uh, as W, and then we have seen uh, X, which is also seems to be uh, a zigzag. It's a very, very rare, uh, very, very rare. Normally when we see a zigzag and another zigzag, we'll see a flat correction. So does that mean that we are gonna see a flat correction tomorrow, or we'll just see the one leg, and that makes it a zigzag? So we are gonna look at it. I think that we, I'll have to wait more for the exactly what the pattern is. The the message is though very clear. If you want to trade it, the message is very clear right now. Initially, I was thinking that the price is going to go deep. Now, because of the side wave price movement, I'm expecting there is a possibility we might not go deep. But we cannot rely. This is only on a guideline. We cannot rely on that information because all we're talking about is probability. Which way is the trend? And the trend is actually indicative of wave one, two three, four, and five. So it's an impulse price movement. If you want to see the larger price movement or the larger analysis, you can go back to my one of my previous videos uh, posted in last week. So right now I'm expecting that we have seen an impulse wave and whether where exactly the correction is finishing, that's right now not the point. The point right now is tomorrow we are expecting a huge volatility and I personally am, have already taken, as you guys are on, uh, in front of you, I have already taken a bullish trade. Uh, actually I was able to make quite a good sum on this price movement and I was waiting for the prices to shoot further but that did not happen. So I have left the trade on just as it is it's basically 30 ounces of gold and I'm putting it in front of you to tell you that I also trade my own analysis it's not just I am just putting the words out and they're not empty words uh, I try to make a trading plan out of them uh, when pr this was trading right over here I think I had about uh, about seven eight dollar per ounce uh, on it so I have about 30 30 ounces right over here you can you can figure out how much profit I had at that time so right now I'm expecting the point here is that I'm expecting, let me delete this. The main point here is that we are going through a corrective phase where exactly the correction would uh, finish. I'm not going to bet on it. All right. What I'm going to bet on is, is that we have seen a main 
uh, five wave structure and we have seen a correction if you look at how much percentage it is and then we can just use the percentage uh, tool right over here and we can see that we have seen a 40 percent reflection of the price which is seems very good all right so let me delete that and we need to zoom in a little more to show you guys what's hap happening well, now when I'm drawing these tools, I expect that you guys would be replace them, would put them on, them on your charts and would be closely watching. Uh, when, uh, as you guys can see, prices were right over here. I had a, a short trade. I took about $100 profit and right over here because on a smaller time frame, on a, even if you go on a five minute time frame, you can see the resistance coming back right over here in this region. And I can see from my target that why this is very important. This is 37.5. So I was expecting for prices to come further down. When I've seen that this resistance is coming in action and we have seen prices jump above, so they heard, here's where, where exactly I took my long position. And as you guys can see, initially it was very good move and then it just faded away because all of the market is looks is just waiting for tomorrow's data. So right now I'm still bullish on gold. There is nothing changed. Initially I was expecting that we will see a deeper price movement that has not come up. Uh, another clue is right over here we have seen a 50 percent support and the next support comes in at 37.5 percent so a support is coming in at a higher level uh, traditionally we could call it as uh, higher highs uh, higher lows one thing has though uh, ha happened right over here that we have not seen a higher high just we have seen support coming at a higher high, higher high higher low i mean so does that mean that we will see wave smaller wave one and smaller wave two and go upward i'm not as i said i'm not going to uh, bet on that. I'm just betting on one thing and that this is uh, an impulsive move and this is a corrective move and I've decided to jump in because who knows what's happening tomorrow. If the trade does not go in my favor then there will be a loss of 1000 US dollars in front of you guys here right over here. And uh, I was I was expecting we have in quite a few days uh, normally uh, just uh, I do not display my I have a separate account which I'm trading right now so there I'm not displaying that account in front of you guys I've got uh, a trade running on silver and I think I had a trade on British pound but then I just closed that and I'll discuss that reason in a bit so if you are trading and you look me switch in and out and you need to ask yourself that how often uh, uh, Shaheen is uh, changing his larger trend and believe me if you go back in six months that has not happened a lot it is only when I see that a corrective move is expecting once the correction starts right over here we don't know how far the, the correction will go right so at that point is fair enough to just give you a, a warning sign that okay maybe we are going to go deeper but in the meantime you'll see me watching that and say okay our trend stays upward in previous analysis I was saying that there's a possibility that we are considering it as a X but right now the because of the price behavior I can say that the X this is not an X behavior because we have seen a lot of price movement on a side wave if you look at the previous uh, zigzags and we in the start of the trend we have not seen this much behavior right over here giving me an indication that this is not an X and we can comfortably comfortably consider it as wave one one Im more important point right now just in case just in case if the price below breaks below this 1721 that still does not negate our larger time analysis and which is I'm considering this as wave one right now and this as wave two the whole question is either wave two is finished right over here or not and I'm right now bidding that wave two is probably already finished looking at this behavior and therefore I took the trade as well so there's a probability that the price be I'm not he hearing the uh, the price behavior really carefully and because of the less volume we are seeing such uh, behavior uh, but one thing I'm really comfortable and I can say with a higher confidence that we can actually uh, put our stop loss right over here 1687 and we can go long right over here and there's a very high chance of it that we will not be cut out so that's the that's the main point of uh, trading on a long term analysis so if you want to do that that's your decision for me it was just a little too away I have not taken it if uh, if you are putting a lot of money on uh, so I you know then you can actually take I mean 100,000 200,000 million so million or whatever maybe you are that richer I don't know so for me I just decided to uh, take the risk and I wanted to uh, put the stop loss right over here so I could just trade ma maximum and that's why right now I'm I have this much loss in front of you and I'm going to leave it open over the night and I will wait uh, desperately for Monday morning uh, tomorrow morning that's Friday actually let's have a look at silver what silver is doing right now 
as you guys are uh, aware of it that silver um, I was it was trading right over here and I gave an indication and this chart is right not labeled and so is gold as well I was using the other platform to uh, show the labeling so right now I was basically considering that we have find a support right over here and we're gonna go upward if you are someone person who looks at uh, uh, fake out as you guys can see that the the price movement was a fake out uh, below uh, the previous low so on a daily time frame it's like that on a four hourly time frame you guys can see that uh, prices went up on a hourly time frame let's have a look at the uh, the trend 30 minutes okay let's have a look right over here right now so there's a possibility because there's a possibility that the correction ended right over here there's a good possibility that the correction ended right over here and it is going to com complete a smaller wave and a flat correction and a continue on behavior a better trading opportunity right would be right over here that you do not consider the correction is right over complete over right over here reason because we are going to see a lot of volatility and i do not want you to get caught in that volatility if prices bel fall below 2142 that would indicate that our analysis was wrong so the right point uh, to put the stop loss is 2142 which is just probably one dollar and ten cents away considering right now that 22 dollars 50 cents is the trading spot price for silver and it is uh, uh, physically available at a very high price at a very high premium i think this uh, still gives us a very good trading opportunity uh, for silver as well uh, it's much safer it's much safer uh, as to, as compared to gold because we have a solid uh, support coming and it's still not much away from the bottom as well so right now you guys can see that uh, we have though drawn this uh, percentage tool right over here and uh, so far it's not actually showing something very attractive as we have seen the initial drop exactly we can see that was 37.5 percent and then prices went off kind of all of that and it came down uh, and once again if you guys can see that uh, we have not kind of actually one thing is very interesting prices went right over here and they made a when it was creating a flat correction then this smaller jump was right within the range so that's an interesting thing uh, is a possibility that we are going to see a larger correction completing in this degree or maybe come right over here uh, there is a possibility yeah why not there's nothing going to stop it to do that so that's why I'm saying the good price uh, level for silver is to put right over here from my discussion you are aware of it I'm bullish on silver on a medium term range on a near term range as well let's have a look at uh, British pound it was a very interesting picture till actually once again uh, looking at gold and silver let me have a look on a four hour time frame as you guys can see that when we did that uh, I indicated that we probably are going to see let me see if what is the important structure right over here so this low actually this price level comes from this and this right over here another fake out prices came below and then and jumped up right over here on a four hourly time frame we can see how much is the behavior as you guys can see that uh, is there a possibility that prices have corrected we've gone up and then we'll see something like this there's a possibility right now what we are looking right now is that we are looking right now is that an impulsive wave and a corrective wave whether the corrective wave has completed right over here or over here that's something that uh, alternative labeling should be considered right now it comes to you as a trader now to make a decision what do you want to do you want to trade right over here and put stop loss right over here because we have already seen the prices jump round right over here and they come out of the support important supports previous support structure uh, or you actually want to join right over here your choice whether you want to wait for the prices to the larger trend that's the information I can give you and the information is that I'm seeing that the larger trend for uh, British pound stays bullish as far as euro is concerned I have not bring the euro uh, I think it's a better uh, time to stay out of the euro right now because euro went and formed a little a new low as well so uh, I think it's a point right now that we should stay out of euro for a while let's have a look at uh, uh, British pound and Japanese yen and uh, it was pretty good trade on a four hour chart frame. So this is expected any time now. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 
uh, what's going to happen? Is it a possibility that we first will move up for a uh, couple of days and uh, we have formed a bottom right over here considering this as a wave 1 and this as a wave 2 and then this is a larger impulse wave. Alright, so in next couple of days we are going to wait on it. What's happening right now? Before something actually uh, we can say about uh, British pound and Japanese yen pair uh, we need to wait a little. When it was trading right over here I made a forecast that we are going to go up and right now we are close to the upper ceiling. So let's see how the prices act in British pound in, in this pair right now. Another possibility is that since we are already at the top and we can see uh, just a bit price action up and then coming down as well. So this is uh, this would be perfectly okay. So that's why right now we are right now in, uh, uh, up against major uh, resistance. If you are in with the trade, I think it's a good point to come out because right now the market is in decision. We are still not sure. If market can actually break up this uh, level very clearly, then of course we will not be looking for the correction to go this deep. In that case, we'll look for the correction to fall uh, somewhere over our, our previous top, right over here. So this is possible uh, if prices can actually go and uh, crash through the, the major import resistance right now. For gold, uh, the next uh, couple of days seems very important and uh, I was, uh, I wanted to apologize as well. What happens is that uh, when, when you guys come on YouTube and you, you do some personal attack, uh, I, I cannot take personal attack, simply that. If you find my analysis wrong and you come up with your uh, point of view that yeah you are bullish for that reason I absolutely respect that and when you try to come on the comment section and try to look me as a stupid person I'm not gonna take that I'm gonna hit back and maybe some of you guys you know won't, won't like it I like everybody everybody come on please we have all here to uh, see a better point and I welcome everybody if someone got hurt from my what I said on a comment section I'm I mean please understand that I I have to read everybody's account comment and for you it's just one person coming back to you for me so many people that I, I have to reply back and the comments are gets nasty very quickly very quickly because people have their financial atta attachments to it and uh, one very good news that I can uh, share with bears uh, bulls is that I think the long wait that we have been waiting for is over in uh, in gold and lots of uh, people who are strongly bearish I was strongly bearish right and I was discussing that I was so passionate about it that I was gonna make a ton amount of money but that did not happen I have to look at the price analysis so uh, if you're looking at the, my YouTube channel and I got back to you in a negative way uh, don't worry about it it's just a small pity thing and just neglect it uh, let's carry on the good work that we have right over here and uh, let's see what happens tomorrow Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.